Issa, I grant thee the strength of Thor to be wise like Odin and with the cunning of Loki. After my lengthy journey, I have arrived at my next destination. Behold. So, Bambra Castle, as you see here, and I correctly pronounced it this time, has been around since the 1400s. However, what we see here is actually a replica, the 1800s version, because the original castle was the first castle that was ever taken down, completely exploded by cannonball fire, which is crazy. <laughs> that is kind of scary to think about how much damage they really had to elicit in order to destroy the castle. But it was restored in the 1800s by Lord Armstrong, who is both highly regarded for his creativity, but also wiped out of history because he apparently created many weapons of mass destruction that were used against England during the First and Second World Wars. And that was because he just simply sold them to the highest bidders. And back there, that's Linda's phone! And we were just there in the previous video. <laughs> so, Bamborough Castle has a lot of Viking history because it is the only castle in England that was not conquered by the Vikings or taken aback because it was protected by Uthred the Bold, which was a famous Viking who was known for being a very powerful warrior. But the only issue was that he kept switching sides between the Vikings, between the English, and then even the Scots for a little bit. And he just focused on what he was offered more because he reached the very tip and the top of his pride. And for him, it was just the price or just how much could he wager. But at the end, that's what led to his death and assassination because he was told to come back to his castle that he protected so much to come to the king to his aid with just 40 men that he would basically surrender but the king decided to ambush him. And now we head inside Bamber Castle. This is awesome. Oh the protective cannons. Alright, ready? Aim fire! <laughs> and it flew! Oh my, what I really like about castles is that they have this ancient feel and deference to them. I was sometimes asked, why don't I just want to be a princess walking around in a beautiful dress? No, no, my friends, I am Issa, warrior girl. I am here for the fight, for the action, for the adventure, for the weapons, the swords, and all that, and the castles. Entering and engaging once again. <laughs> this feels so cool. So amidst my shock and awe at the just grandeur of this place, we have entered the throne room. Well, there are no thrones there now, but it's very lavish and comfy, but you could imagine the big thrones where the king would sit the queen, and I would just be there in the corner with the sword. What's really cool is that this castle is actually used functionally, like people live here, which is really cool. Definitely expensive. I wouldn't mind. Ah, oh, this is my favorite. <gasps> Look at all these weapons.
And of course, dragons, my favorite. Ooh, well, this is different. Nice. The dungeon. Ooh. Oh no, people are being tortured. The lighting's cool though. <laughs> Issa, I grant thee the strength of Thor, to be wise like Odin, and with the cunning of Loki, wield the Viking sword of power, Bone Crusher, now to complete the witch rule, oh, yes. and proclaim your hold over this castle, the kingdom of Northumbria, and its people. Repeat after me, I, I am Issa, Queen of the North. I am Issa, Queen of the North! The Queen of the North! The Queen of the North! The Queen of the North! And long may she reign. This concludes my wonderful trip to Bamro Castle. It was truly an honor as Issa Warrior Girl to have a great, wonderful time here, but also to enjoy the nature, the beauty, the history, and gaze with the warrior within. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please be sure to like if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to see more content and comment down below on what you thought. And on more adventures we go. See you on my friends. Wow.